Wow, he's a dandy. Let, push your button. Push the button. There you go. Good morning, fishing friends. This is Matthew with Out Fishing 13, bringing you another fishing video. We're up here on one of my favorite reservoirs in, in Utah, and that's Deer Creek Reservoir. Deer Creek Reservoir is only about 64% capacity, which means it's probably oh, 20, 25 feet or more lower than normal. Um, usually we come fishing when it's about 80% to 70% capacity. Sometimes uh, it's up there around 95 to nearly up to 100% capacity. But it also means that the fish are more concentrated in certain areas. So the fishing has been really good. So we're hoping to, to have a great day catching trout. And we'll see what other things we catch. There's also walleye. Um, there's perch. There's um, crappie. Um, and that's about it. Um, there, there are some smallmouth bass. Yeah, I said that. Yeah. So we could catch a bunch of different types of fish. But mainly we're going after some trout trolling. Then we're going to stop and fish with some power bait in some areas that have been really successful. Anyways, wish us luck. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. And make sure you subscribe. The subscribership is going way up and that's really great. So thank you. All right, let's go fishing. Well, we're out here on trolling now. I, we think we're the only boat here on the lake right now. It's a Monday, so... Great day to be out here on the water. Nobody else is fishing. No ski boats. We just saw a big trout jump back there. Right now what we got is we got some Berkeley flicker shads and um, a woolly bugger and uh, another little trolling spoon. The water is um, 62 degrees. See that hatch of bugs? Yeah. See that bug right there? That's what the fish are jumping at. Today I'm fishing with this spin cast reel that's an underspin, a Zebco 44, on my vintage rod with a vintage lure. <laughs> An old striped red and white daredevil. This is one of the Zebco Across America reels. So hopefully I can catch a fish on it today. And then I'll send it back, I'll send it to the next guy. It's a beautiful day. Okay, so just right up here, we're seeing a big school of carp. They're all up near the surface. We're gonna go just swing by them. But at first I thought there were some ducks or something like that that were milling around. It's the migration season for carp. There's a fish. Fish on, fish on. All right, got our first fish. Oh, it's a nice one. Uh, lure is that? Um, this was the rainbow trout flicker shad. All right, we got to get this one in the boat. Just let, yeah, if you just want to let that one stay there. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Do you want to back up just a little bit? Just back up, yeah, right there. And then I'll, then we can get him right in the boat. Oh. Yeah, what a beautiful little fish. Like a 14 incher. Yeah, yeah. Right on. Got him hooked good. Rainbow, lose on the rainbow flicker shot again. Got 
putting our fish on. Same place, Fred. Same lure. Same lure too. Maybe we ought to take off that I'm big ready. that big one and put on um, another one of these small flicker shads. Big ones may be just too intimidating. No, about the same size, but nice fat trout. Nice fat trout. Oh, what happened? It got off. Yeah, we're tangled a bunch. All right, well, okay, we got a fish on. Not a very big one, but... I think we'll put it in the pot. They're nice fat trout though. Is that that same lure? Yep, the rainbow flicker no, shed. take these other ones off the rainbow one. I, That's the only one I have. I have rainbow, I have rainbow flavored, um, like a Lucky Craft pointer, but this is the only rainbow flicker shad I have. I just, like I told you, they're really hard colors to come even come by. Oh yeah, they're all, but they're they're really pretty. Oh, we're gonna lose them if we don't get them in quick. Thank you. Yep, it came out. <laughs> yeah. I, in. Yep. That's this year's plan right here. Well, yeah, probably this year's, but they've grown. All right, awesome. Nice fat fish. I'm going to slow down a little bit. I think I'd loosen the drag on this. We got another fish on. But he can't, we, I got to find some more of those rainbow hey, flick, flicker shads. We need to look and see if you close. Well, the closest I had was what we put on there. I snagged him. Really? Yeah, it's still there. Oh, I see that's a good one. Just came off. Dag gum it! <laughs> Dang it! I it threw the hook. That was a good one. <laughs> oh well. That rainbow flicker shad is killing them today. This doesn't feel like a very big fish. I wonder if it just came off. Feels like it just came off. It did. No, there it is. He was just surfing along. Not as big as that last one, Fred. But we'll keep him. He about came off too. It's a pretty little trout.
Yeah, let's push on. I think I'm going to have to let out some more line. Good fish. Nice. You're not getting off. That's a good fish. Yeah. Stand up for a second. Sit right here on the, on the cooler. And I'll let out a little bit more anchor line. Good fish. Okay, get him up here. Wow, he's a dandy. Let, push your button. Push the button. There you go. Nice. That was funny. That's the first non that reel. I know it was on the on the um yeah, here, the, here yeah. look this up a little bit more. Let's I think it's Yeah, it's on the bottom, but I need a little bit more line. Okay. Nice, let me take a picture. That's about 14. Okay, look up here. I didn't. I didn't take the picture. I, I had it recording. All right, nice. One more to go, Fred. You have a half limit. Good. Right, that's a good one. Get my dead ID ready. <laughs> All right, after about, is it still there? Or did he get off? I think he's swimming towards me. No, I think he got off, Fred. No, it's still there. Is it still there? He's on there. Yeah, there he is. Nice. Okay. You'll have to take it off because I've got to drive. Look, it's right here at the mouth of the bay. Yeah. Yep, he came right out. Look at that. Man, they've got just soft mouths. Rise nets. I still regret not buying that one for you. Oh, that's okay. What, what was it, a, a thrift shop? Yeah, it was a DI and they were two. And they were awesome. One was a long handle, one was short. Oh. Fish on, fish on! Wow, that's nearly a two for Fred. Right in the bay. <laughs> nice. We only have two more fish and we can go home. Yeah, don't tighten that up too much. Just tighten your drag up a little bit. There you go. That's a good fish. Nice. Trees keep us into the wind. What was this one on? On the on the yellow, the fire tiger, huh? Man, that's got a good bend in it. You think that's a bigger fish? That's a bigger fish. You are not getting out. No, he's not. He's hooked really good. He's not a bigger piece, he's snagged up. Yeah, snag him and hit. Push the button and, and mount the pole back in there. And then you can get him off. He kind of got tangled up with the other one. 
little bit. What is that, six? Yep, we got two more and we can go home. We just got back from fishing. We caught six really nice fat little trout. It was pretty fun, anywhere from 12 to about 14 inches. And then the wind came up and I made a turn on our troll and we got our lines all twisted up. <laughs> and all three of our lines that we broke one off, so we called it quits instead of trying to fight the weather and the wind. We had a great time. It was a lot of fun being out here. This is I spent most of my time on Utah Lake this year and not too much time up out here on Deer Creek, so it was fun getting back out here. The weather was beautiful and the normal the north half of the Thanks for coming along with me. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And